Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 6th day of December Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is minimum cost to move chips to the same position. So this is an easy category problem. So the input given here is an integer array which represents at what positions the coins are present. For example, consider the example 2. There are 3 2s which means there are 3 coins at position 2 and there are 2 3s which means there are 2 coins at position 3. So now we have to move the coins all to one position and they did not specify which position you can move every coin to any position you like and the rules given are if you are moving the coin by two places either backwards or forward then the cost is going to be zero or if you want to move the coin by one position then the cost is going to be one. So we have to move all the coins to one position with a minimum cost and we have to return that as a result. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a simple example in the problem statement. It is said that we have three coins at each position 1, 2 and 3 and we have to make them move all to one position. So as per the rule said, we can either move by, by two positions and the cost is going to be zero. And if we are going to move it by one position, then the cost is going to be one. So now if you consider the positions one and three, you have its counter even positions to swap. Either you can move the coin from one to three or three to one and the cost is going to be zero. But considering two, it doesn't have any positions either before or after to it to swap it by two positions. So let's first move any coin from one or three to other position. So now we have moved our coin from 1 to 3 and the cost is going to be 0. So now we have only one coin left to be moved to the third position so that all the coins will be moved to one position. So to move one position our cost is going to be 1. So after moving the cost of this movement is going to be 1 and that is the overall minimum cost we have to return as our result. So this is a pretty simple logic uh, that is why it is an easy category problem. So to understand how we are going to solve this, consider there are uh, n number of positions and each position is having n number of coins. So in each position there are multiple coins. So now we are trying to move all even position values to one particular position. Let's say we are going to move all 4, 6, 8 position coins to 2. So we first move 8 to 6 and then 6 to 4 and then 4 to 2. So all this transformation would require only zero cost because we are moving everything by two positions. So now we have all the coins at even position at number 2. Same way we are going to pick all the odd positions value from 3, 5, 7 and place them at 1. So this is again going to take all zeros because we are again going to move 7 to 5, 5 to 3 and so on and all the coins to 1. So now we don't really have to worry about other positions because we have moved all the coins from that position to 1 and 2. So now our task is to either move all the coins from position 2 to 1 or all the coins from position 1 to 2. So either way we are going to move all the coins by one position which is going to cost 1 for each coin. So moving the lesser number of coins to other position would give us the minimum cost of moving all the coins to one position. So the ideal approach is find where are the minimum coins placed and that is going to be a result. If there are five coins at position two and seven coins at position one, it is ideal to move this five coins to position one so that you will get minimum cost from the result. So we are going to take the count of number of coins at odd position and even position and finally we are going to return minimum of both the values. Hope you are understanding this approach and this is going to work in big of n time and big of 1 space complexity as we are going to iterate the array once to count and return the minimum value. So let's go to the code now. The code is also pretty simple and straightforward. As I said we are going to have two variables to count even and odd coins. So we are going to iterate our array and we are going to keep the count of even and odd position coins. So now we have the count. Finally we are going to return the minimum of both. So 
So let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution has been accepted and runs in 0 milliseconds. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.